I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video and share it immediately with your friends. We will not stay for long today. This is a very important video. So let's start. All of us we heard the Muslim keep saying that it's not befitting for Allah to have a son. And this is my response to such a statement. Nay, it is not befitting for the Creator to take a son, to have a begotten son. It's not befitting. Nay, it's not befitting. And look at his teeth. He is disgusted. It's not befitting. But it's befitting for Allah to be a pimp. It's befitting for Allah to give Muhammad the children to have sex with. It's befitting for Allah to make verses go. And if whoever you want from your family, from your cousin, from the neighbors, whoever offer herself to you, it's befitting for Allah to have legs and to have hands and to have fingers. But it's not befitting for Allah to have a son. It's not befitting for Allah to have a son, but it's befitting for Allah to have sex with the children who they never have their period yet because they are so young. It's not befitting for Allah to have a son. Why? Because you don't have a girlfriend. And what kind of a logic of a stupid God this God is? Somebody told you that God of the Christians, he have a girlfriend, and this is how he have a son? What a stupid God. So it's not fitting for this God, Allah, to have a son, but it's fitting for him to be stupid. It's not fitting for Allah to have a son. And if he want to have a son, he said to him, be, and he was. And then we find that Allah, he could not create one thing by saying, be. It took him the whole day to create Adam. It took him six days to create the heaven and the earth in different verses, eight days. What be, and it was. He did not create one single thing. It's not fitting for Allah to have a son, but it's fitting for him to have fingers and shin and ass and face ending subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah described in the quran that he has a face allah described in the quran that he has two hands when he addressed iblis satan and he told him what prevented you from prostrating to what i have created with my two hands so this is what allah described himself allah says in surah Al Qalam that on the day of judgment Allah Azza wa would uplift and show his leg. Allah will show his shin. It's befitting for Allah to have a shin and to disturb these. It's fitting befitting for Allah to have two hands in the right side because he is have a defect. It's befitting for Allah. What is not befitting to anyone? This is Allah. 
both is his hands are in the right side why what happened to Allah this is his mother she gave birth to him in seven months or six months so he got two hands in the right side is that a defect because the Chinese was making counterfeit Allah it's not befitting for Allah to be have a son but it's befitting that Allah will stand on the table he will hold the pole and he is going to show his shin and it's befitting for Allah to teach us that the sun set in murky water a murky spring it's befitting for Allah that a human being he created from a sperm and the sperm became a blood so it's befitting for Allah to be stupid and to be ignorant and to be a donkey it's befitting for Allah that he found people Gog and Magog where the sun set and where the sun rise it's befitting for Allah because Allah is a fiction God but it's not befitting for Allah to have a son but it's befitting for Allah to describe for us what is inside the vagina of the women he will give us it's befitting for God to describe I'm not going to use the word you know the word to describe what is inside the vagina it's befitting for Allah for he is a pimp it's befitting for Allah to promise us boys who they are so white and those boys they will be your slaves forever and they are made of a very white skin like pearls it's befitting for Allah to be filthy it's befitting for Allah to promise people to be white in heaven befitting for Allah to claim that Allah he created the black people to go to hell and as you see everything we say we have the reference it's befitting for Allah to be filthy racist for Allah is the most filthy racist It's befitting for Allah to teach the man to beat his wife. To beat the wife, it's befitting for Allah. Only to Allah this is befitting. And then the Muhammadan, they come and they are disgusted it's not befitting for Allah to have a son when their God is a pimp their God is a thief their God have no ethic their God is a shin their God does not have an ass but his shin is attached right away to his face it's not befitting for Allah to have a son but it's befitting for Allah that if a Muslim woman she get divorced three times, she can't go back to her husband unless she been effed by a new guy. For Allah is filthy. It's befitting for Allah. It's not befitting for Allah to have a son. But it's befitting for him to give Muhammad a child. She is six years old. And he made chapter 65, verse number 4, speaking about divorcing little children. It's befitting for Allah to do such a behavior, for he is the filth and the filth itself. It's not befitting for Allah to have a son. But it's befitting for Allah to teach muta that any Muslim man, he can take a woman for three days, three nights, as long as he pay her. It is halal fun. It's befitting for Allah to be a pimp. It's befitting for Allah. It's befitting for Allah to teach us science 
where he claimed that the drop of a semen became a dead blood. For Allah is the only one who knows science. It's befitting for Allah to be stupid, to be a donkey, not to be a horse. And not to mention that the Muslim says that Allah, when he created himself, he created first a horse and he made the horse sweat. And then he created himself from the sweat of the horse. I'm so glad not from his pee because he smelled like one. Have you ever heard of a God? He created from the sperm, a congeed of dead blood. And then that became a baby and you read it and you die laughing. And then the Muslim made articles about how scientifically accurate. It's befitting for Allah. To make a chapter for Muhammad, to if his own daughter. And not only it's befitting for Allah to make a chapter about why you don't if her. He said to him, why you say to the guy, keep your wife when you want to if her. It's befitting for Allah to do all of this. He made a verse specifically for Muhammad saying, go and if your own son wife. And Muhammad, he flirt with the wife in the house of her husband. It's befitting for Allah to do so, but it's not befitting for Muhammad, God, to have a son. It's befitting for Allah to make a chapter says, any Muslim woman, she can open her legs and take off her panty. And look, he start counting how many women he can if. Look at this. It's befitting for you, Muhammad, because the befitting to Allah that you can go off if and the following. Your wives, is it too late? Already he is ifing them from long time. And you're the daughter of your uncle and the daughter of your brother uncle and the daughter of the brother uncle and the daughter of the aunt's uncle and the brother of the daughter and the daughter of the... This is God talking now. This is God in the office is counting how many women Muhammad can if. He is writing a license, a blade for Muhammad to if. And then in the top of that, he says, and any believing women, she want to give herself to the Prophet to F her. It's befitting for Allah. It's befitting for Allah to teach the Muslims that there's a black stone was made in the shape of a vagina and the women, they used to place their hands inside it when they have their period with their blood because they want to have fertility. The black stone God. It is befitting for Allah to teach the Muslim to kiss a black stone. Yet this uh, God, he claimed that he is against statues. Befitting for Allah to say, if you touch the stone, it erase your sin. It's befitting for Allah to claim that he is against the statues. But then he ordered his prophets to make his statues. It's befitting for Allah. What is not befitting to anyone? For Allah is the most scumbag ever. And the Muslims always they try to duct tape Allah words by changing and fabricating translations. Look, we are looking now for the word status. We cannot find it in the translation. They try to hide it because how we can claim that Islam is against his statues if Allah is ordering his prophet to make his statues. What is the word statues? Chapter 34, verse number 13. This appear in a miraculous way. What happened? We Muslims, it's befitting for Allah to duct tape Allah so we can hide the word statues. And yet we claim that we are not pagans, yet we kiss a black stone in the shape of a vagina. And this is historical proven that the Arab used to put their hands inside that vagina when their hands is blood from their vagina for fertility reason. It is not befitting for Allah to have a son. And we agree, especially if the son is Jesus. For it's not befitting for Jesus to be a son of such a filthy Satan. Jesus Christ is the holy and the holiness himself. So how for someone like Jesus to be the son of Allah? That is an insult actually to Jesus. And we Christians, we refuse to accept such a God to be the father of Jesus. For he is Satan.
when we go in the stupid Quran, we will find even the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad describe Jesus as holy. So yes, we agree. How the holy Jesus can be the son of Allah. That is impossible. For this God cannot be our God. And Jesus have nothing to do with such a filthy God. For as you see, even in the stupid Quran, he is the holy son. Holy son of who? Muslims cannot answer. So I will respond to the Muslim when they say, it is not befitting for Allah to have a son and his son is Jesus. We say, yes, we agree because this is an insult to Jesus. Jesus is not the son of Satan, which is your God. So from now on, if you are a Christian and the Muslim, they say to you, it is not befitting for Allah to have a son. And he is Jesus say to them, yes, we agree because how Jesus can be the son of Satan. Jesus is not the son of Satan. Jesus is the son of the holy God, not a pimp who promised men, women they never met just to F them. God is not a pimp and sex provider. God is holy. Your God is not. Ate to take a son, to have a begotten son. It is blaspheme to relate to the creator. The creator who do not know which one he created first. The son of the mountains. The creator who do not know how the baby is created. It's not befitting for Allah to have a son, but it's befitting for Allah to teach you how you are going to have sex in the heaven. And he says you will do it dahman dahman, which means you will F her so hard, so hard, and you will push so hard, so hard. And then they say to you, it is not befitting for Allah. It is not befitting for Allah. What a filthy cult. Muslims is not befitting for us to have Allah to do with us in any way, in any mean. That is an insult. It is not befitting for the Christians that Jesus is the son of a, such a filthy God for our God is holy. Your God is filthy. Your prophet is filthy. His teaching is nothing but a vagina and penises. What kind of God he promised you endless penis unless he is the penis God? So let your penis God be fitting for his penis. For he is not befitting to have a son like Jesus. As always I say, Everyone goes where he belong. The God of the penis, he go where the penis. And the God of the Christians, he goes where Hornus is. He said he will and she, they will be the same as angels. This is our God. Your God is the penis God. But sadly, you can't even hold it. Keep trying. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Christ is Lord, and it's not befitting for a Christ to be the son of such a filthy God, for Elohim is not filthy. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs>
<laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet it. tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>